In this segment, let's take a look at how we can build up our arrangement in logic. So as we look here at our arrangement page, we can see our MFB synth, which is that audio file that we just recorded using our hardware synthesizer. So let's talk about how we can import some data in. Um, let's go back to our audio window. So again, if we go up under audio to audio window, or if you're keeping score with your quick keys, it's going to be Apple 9. So I'll open it up, and there we'll see my MFB synthesizer. Now, I'm not going to use this in my arrangement. So what I'm going to do is just delete this, and that will remove it from the arrangement page. Uh, as you can see, it's gone from the arrangement page. Whoops. So if I inadvertently had removed it and I didn't want it, I can always come back to the audio window and drag it back in. And even if I had deleted it out of my entire session, it's on my hard drive. So it's completely non-destructive, and I can always get back any files that I may be using. Uh, so let's, if we go up under the audio file menu, you'll see Add Audio File. And the quick key for that is Control F. So I'm going to go ahead and do Add Audio and uh, navigate to the Project folder, which is on my desktop. And I'm going to grab some files. Um, Hear this. So there's a drum loop. And there's a drum loop. So I'm going to grab this 909 kit. I'll add that. Uh, I'm also going to grab this filter rhythm. I'll add that. In fact, why not just add them all? There we are. So these are all the audio files that I have in this folder. Um, and then I'll hit Done. And this will drop them into my audio pool or into my audio window so then I can drag these out whenever I need them. Um, so first thing let's do is let's add some more audio tracks. Uh, right now, this is my MFB track. We can. What I'm going to do is actually uh, hold down Option double click on it, and let's just rename this Audio 1 again, since we're not dealing with the MFB. Now, if you remember, our quick key for creating tracks, if you're in Logic Pro, is going to be Create with Next Instrument. Now, this will allow us to create tracks in an ascending order. So the quick key for that is Control Shift Return. Uh, if you're using Logic Express, you can either create a track or you can create multiple tracks. Uh, you don't have this option. So I'm going to hit Control Shift Return. And you'll see as I start creating tracks, uh, as I'm creating them, they're, they're being added in an ascending order. So I have audio tracks one through four. Uh, I'm, I'm going to click down here and change this into an audio instrument track. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll do Control-Shift-Return, and I'll create four audio instrument tracks. 